Logic Pro 10.7 has just added Dolby Atmos and spatial audio. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a crash course into how to enable it and how to use it in your projects. Let's go. Now, before we get started, I am not a Logic Pro expert, so I've linked to some experts with some more in-depth tutorials in the description. And number two, there are timestamps down there as well. So if you wanna jump around to a particular part of this video, you can go ahead and do that. Step one, I've opened up a Logic Project that just has stereo audio so that we can convert it to Dolby Atmos. Step number two, check that you're updated to Logic Pro 10.7 by going to the top left about Logic Pro, and it will tell you there. I'm still on the trial version. If you're not on the latest version you can either update via the app store if you've purchased it or if you're using the trial version like me go back to the apple website re-download it reinstall over the top and you'll have the latest version ready to go step three check that you have the complete options enabled by going to the logic pro memory preferences and general jumping over to advanced here on the right hand side and tick this box enable complete features and you'll notice that our menus now have a whole lot more options that we can choose from one of those options under the mix menu is this one here Dolby Atmos. So let's click on that one. And to enable Dolby Atmos and spatial audio, we need to select this option here and tick on Dolby Atmos. Logic will tell us that it'll convert this to 7.1.2 surround sound for mixing in spatial audio. Let's hit OK and get cracking. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that we now have this, the Dolby Atmos plugin on our master bus. So if we click on this one, here it is, and you can just click and drag this around. This is just the visualization, not where you'll necessarily make your changes. That's what I'm gonna show you next. Next up, let's select a track. I'm gonna pick this acoustic guitar track, and what you'll notice is that your panning knob here now has a whole lot more going on. It's not just your left, right, and center. It's now got a surround option there. You can also go over here and right click on that one and you can actually go into the 3D object planner. So if we click on that, this is where all the action is gonna start. Next up, let's select a track. I'm gonna use this acoustic guitar. And you'll notice that our pan knob here has changed. It's gone to surround from just your LCR, your left, center, right. So we can double click on this and use the binaural panning here to move things around like this. But there's something cool and new, which is the 3D object planner. And that's what I'll show you now. To enable this, we're going to right click over here on the pan knob and go to this one, 3D object panner. And now you can see that we've got a different icon here. If we double click on this one now, we've got the full control here where we can use this option to go from to the left, the right, the front, and the back. And you've also got your ear level down the bottom here that you can go up and down. So let's uh, play this track and uh, move this around our binaural spectrum, shall we? Now what's going on there? Why is that sounding a bit weird? Well, here's where you have to be careful. When you start mixing in surround, I've already got things like stereo delay and other effects on here. So that is gonna mess with the spectrum when we start mixing in here. So I wanted to use this as a demo just to show you that to start with. Let's go with something simpler like a vocal and you'll be able to hear this a lot better. So let's select our main vocal track here. I'm going to solo this one and we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna come over. This time let's use the mixer in fact. So we'll click the mixer here and you can do all the same stuff here. So we're on the mixer, we'll right click, we'll go 3D object panner, and then we'll double click on that one. And now we can control this vocal sound using our 3D panner. Let's hit play and have a play. How murdering time, murdering time, to save myself and others from the thoughts in my mind. How murdering time. Very cool, yeah. And again, we can adjust the ear level here as well to bring it above in the mix. Let's try that. I'm murdering time So I don't end up taking a life now, the cool thing about this is this will work with binaural audio, but the cool thing is that if you export this as a spatial audio with Dolby Atmos, you get the full benefit of spatial audio. So if your end listener is using something like the Apple AirPods Pro or Max headphones and using Apple Music, 
then they're actually going to be hearing that in full spatial audio. Now, for a bit of a demo, I've taken these three tracks. I've got my French horns, and I've put them in the back left. I've got my string ensemble over here in the front right, and I've got this one here, my Steinway piano, behind. So you can see here, we've adjusted all of these and changed the ear level. And you can listen, even in stereo, you'll hear that the binaural effect that you'll get, depending where you're listening and what you're listening on, it sounds pretty cool, trust me. Very nice. And if we want to see where all of those are in the overall mix, we can click on this one, the Atmos button, and this is going to bring us in here. Now, it doesn't show anything here at the moment, but take a look at this. All those that are in the 3D space are down here. So when we actually play this again, let's go back to the start of this section where we have these instruments. When we play this again, you'll see a representation of all the instruments and where they are in the, st in the uh, spectrum here. So it makes it easy to ensure that you've got a balance there because again, we're not talking about just stereo here and making sure your left is balanced with your right. You've now got to balance it up in a whole bunch of other spaces. But the tools are in here in the new version of Logic Pro to help you do it. Now to export our mix, if we wanted to do a regular export, you can just bounce your mix down just as you ordinarily would. But the other option we have here is to export this as this, an ADM BWF file. So this is what you'll need if you want to eventually export as spatial audio to somewhere like Apple Music. Now, in my experience so far, a lot of the independent distributors haven't quite got up to speed in terms of releasing spatial audio, but it's not going to be very far away is the word on the street. So you can export it right now and be ready for when spatial audio and Dolby Atmos is offered across all the services. So what do you think? Will you be trying the spatial audio and the Dolby Atmos options here in Logic Pro? Don't forget you can download it with a free 90 day trial. There's a video down in the description where I show you exactly how to do that. So if you've got yourself a Mac, you might as well give this a try and have a plan. Who knows, you may be creating amazing compositions in 3D surround sound.